In this video, we are covering the blood vessels of the lower limb. Now, let's start here at the abdominal aorta. The abdominal aorta ends by splitting into the common iliac arteries. We have one on the right side, the right common iliac artery, and one on the left side, the left common iliac artery. When the common iliac artery splits, it becomes the external iliac artery going external and the internal iliac artery going into the pelvic cavity. Now, pay attention to this. Can you notice that the external iliac artery crosses the pelvic girdle or the inguinal canal? When the external iliac artery crosses this border, it becomes the femoral artery. So here we have the femoral artery. If we look on this side, we are also using the same anatomical delimitation to say that the femoral artery it starts right there and then it goes all the way down. Now, when we are behind the knee, we change names again. So the femoral artery becomes the popliteal artery. So we are considering the popliteal artery from this, when you can use like this little branch right here as your delimiting point. So all this is the popliteal artery. As you can see, the popliteal artery then branches into two and then you have one branch that stays in the posterior aspect of the tibia this is the posterior tibial artery and the other branch goes to the anterior aspect of the tibia and this is the anterior tibial artery so this as well as this is named anterior tibial artery and this branch of the anterior tibial artery that is in the dorsal aspect of the foot is named dorsalis pedis artery. If we go into this foot, you see that you have an artery that is in the dorsal aspect of the foot. Consequently, this is also the dorsalis pedis artery. And then if you follow it up, this one would be the blood vessel, the artery that gave rise to the dorsalis pedis artery. Consequently, this is the anterior tibial artery.